Hello, Ken. Hello, Mary. Come in. Thank you. Oh, can't see very well with these on. We'll take them off then, Ken. Oh, no. No, it's part of my image. They go with my bum bag and my satin bomber jacket. Oh, I see. Is John ready? Yes, he's uh, just in the hall, putting his coat on. Oh. Blimey, what's that? John, you look like a yeti. Oh, oh you, no, you don't need a coat with a hood on. Pardon? Oh, it's filling the hall, isn't it? It's blocking out all the light from the front door. What are you shouting about, Ken? Mm. You're being rude about my duffel coat. Well, it's wrong, John. It's just totally wrong for today's journey. Well, um, there's a cold snap sweeping the south, Ken. Mm. And uh, rain's forecast later. Yes, but, John, we're going to be on the train, you know, and then we'll be on the tube. Uh, we'll be in enclosed pedestrian walkways, cafes, bars. Ooh. You know, there's no. no need for a coat like that. You want uh, a sports jacket or a light duty raincoat, something like that. Mm. Mary? Yes? Where's Mickey Gould? Oh, oh, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Can. We present The Shuttleworths. Episode 6, John Goes to London. <sighs> no, I'm not convinced, John. No. I'm not convinced. Well, I'm not wild about your jacket, Ken. No. It's a bit showy. No, it isn't. What does it say on the back? Brotherhood of Man. Oh. Did they give you that, Ken? Um, no, Jeff did. Who was Jeff? Jeff Bentley, from Bentley Records. Yep. The man we're going to see today. That's right. Oh. The man who was going to make your husband a star, Mary. Oh, Ooh. right. Mm. Yeah. Come on, we better go. Yes, yep. right. Have. Off you go. Have you got the tape, John? Yes, I have, Ken, yes. Bye, Mary. Bye-bye, Ken. Bye-bye, Karen. You're not talking to me today. No. Oh, hmm. yeah. got a head burning in the magazine. You wouldn't think it was a dad's big day, would you? Bye. No. Bye. 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 See you a couple ago. Yeah, good luck. Bye. We're finally off, John. Yeah. We're finally off. Mm. Keep your voice down, Ken. Mm. There's a poorly man in that house. He's only just come out of hospital. Oh, yes, sorry. Forgot. Must admit, I'm quite excited, though, Ken. Well, of course you are, John. It's the day when all your dreams are finally realised. Mm. Well, I hope so. Mm. I mean, I don't know much about this uh, Jeff Bentley. Mm. Is he uh, well connected? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He knows one of the doolies. Does he? And he went to Dana's wedding, apparently. Blind. He wasn't invited, but, uh, you know, he still went along. Mm. Cheerio, Sheffield! Yep. <laughs> Bye. Ah. Oh. Ideally, there should be lots of little children running alongside the vehicle, shouldn't they, Ken? Oh. You know, giving us a grand send-off. Well, yes, but it's too dangerous for them, John. Yeah. You know, they'd get knocked down, wouldn't they? Well, that's right. A full national service on Brentford. It's our available from Brentford and Southern City Solders. Tickets, please. Oh, yeah. Tickets, please. Tickets, please. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have ticket, please, John? You'll only lose it. I won't. Very well. Thank you. What have you got there? Just a couple of beers. You want one? Where's my leaf tea? You didn't ask for one, John. I did. No, you asked for a beer, didn't you? I'm sorry. Oh. Mm. Ken. It's 10.30 in the morning. Oh, spilling all over the place. You are. Oh, look at that, a mass all over the floor. Mind me trousers, oh, Ken. Sorry, that lady's looking at me. Show me up, Ken. Oh. Mm. Ken. Do you want a game of cards? Oh, sorry, was just shouting them? Yes. Do you want a game of cards, Ken? No. What the hell are you listening to, Ken? Oh, did you hear that? They're going to close the buffet. Do you want another drink, John? Yes, I have a leaf tea. No, I have a proper drink. I have a vodka. No. I'll get us a couple of vodkas, Ken, John. I don't want... Ken. Oh, she's tasty, isn't she? No. Oh, see you in a minute, John. Sorry, mate. No, excuse me. Are you sure this is a record company, Ken? Oh, yes. I mean, there are records for sale in the window, but... Mm. Uh, and books as well. He's obviously gone into publishing. Uh, and place mats. Mm. Oh, there's a lemon squeezer there. That'll be merchandise, of course. Come on, let's go in. Right. Anyway, I was talking to Edith and she said... Ooh. 
I must say the receptionists are a bit older than they used to be. Yes. <laughs> All right, darling. Can I help you, gentlemen? Well, yes, possibly, love. We have a tape. Right. Can I see it, please? Oh, yes, all right. Yes, Show it to John. <laughs> it is, love. Thank you. That'll be 50p, please. What? Do you want a bag? Hey. No, no, you misunderstand me, love. No, we, we want a deal. Yes. Oh, there can be no discounts. Can the Mrs. Allsop? No, oh, this is a charity shop. It's a charity shop, love. <sighs> oh. Can. Oh, dear. Come on, let's go. Mm. Yes. Don't you want the tape? Oh, yes, I do. Yes, yes, thank you. Right, that'll be 50p, please. What? Oh, oh see. it's outrageous. We got 50p, can Speak to me, John. Speak to me. No. No, I'm furious with you, Ken. No. Never been so humiliated at home in life. No. Well, at least you've got a decent jacket now, which I spotted on the bargain rail. Turn now, let's have a look. Ooh, white snake. That's lovely. Is it? Mm. Mm. Well, it's better than you could go. Yeah, it's not waterproof, though, Ken. It's only shower resistant. Mm. feel a little bit vulnerable in it. Well, don't. Don't, because you look like a rock star. Mm. Which you will be when we meet Jeff. And when will that be, Ken? Hey, we've been to the Spastic Society, Ryman's and Stationers, and Super Snaps. Yes. And they're all who they claim to be. Mm. You know, they're not masquerading as a record company. No. I'm beginning to wonder if this Jeff Bentley actually exists. He does, John. He does exist. Well, when did you last speak to him? Um, it was some time ago. What, a few days? A few weeks? Well, um, we went to see the tomb of Tutankhamen, and then we went for a curry. Ken, that was ages ago. Mm. That was back in the 70s. Was it? Oh. Yes, it was. Mm. It was very pleasant. Nice pompadams. Mm. Oh, do you want to borrow my sunglasses? They're hurting my eyes. No, I don't, Ken. Put them away, you look ridiculous in them. No. Oh, oh you see what I see across the road? Adult review. Looks interesting, doesn't it? No. Yeah, let's go and have a look. No, Ken. Come on, we're going home. No, John, we've come to London. We can't go home without sampling the entertainment on offer. Oh, there's another one there. Ken. In fact, there's loads of them, John. Ken! Hello, darling. I stepped back to avoid a passing taxi. When it had gone, so too had Ken. Disappeared into one of the many gaudily lit doorways that graced the street opposite. And I wasn't going to embarrass myself by inquiring as to his exact whereabouts, because I'd been humiliated enough for one morning. The whole thing had become a fiasco. In fact, I'd already decided that me and Ken should part. Uh, professionally. I mean, obviously we'd still be neighbours. But he's rubbish, isn't he? He's an impresario. Doesn't have any contacts. Or so it seems. So I abandoned him. I mean, he'd be all right. He had his train ticket, you know. But I was feeling a bit peckish, so I made a beeline for a pizza restaurant. I ate as much as I could for two ninety-five, though that didn't include access to the salad bar. I was a bit cross about that. And then I proceeded to Tottenham Court Road to have a look at all the camcorders and audio equipment on display. I had to go on a few keyboards, which was very pleasant. And then I asked to have a look at an audio lead, uh, fired into phono. But they wouldn't take it out of the packaging. He said, uh, well, do you want it or don't we? But I needed to hold it in my hand, examine each terminal, you know, see if it was the right one for me. But, um, I found that, you know, the shopkeepers in London seem to be a little bit surly. Have you noticed? When I go shopping in London town, why are they so unfriendly? When I said good day in the deli, they appeared not to comprehend me. My how do you do in the chip shop queue was received in total silence. My take care cock in the butcher's shop was met with a look of violence. Shopkeepers in the north are nice. They ask after your kids and wife. And when you've had a good chin wag, they pop your provisions in your bag. Let me open the door for you, Jim. Yeah. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Mm. Thank you. Cheers, Barry. Ta -ra. Lovely man. I want to go home. 
Because I don't feel comfortable here. There's detritus everywhere, you know, leaflets you don't want. No, thank you. Don't want one. And I miss my family dreadfully. Beggars as well. Excuse me, have you got ten people? Oh, it's Thank very you. sad. Can you spare ten people? No, I'm so- uh, Ken, uh, what are you doing? Hello, John. Uh, can you spare ten people, please? Well, well yes. Mm, thank What's you. What's happened? I got done over, John. I got robbed. Who by? By Natalie. She charged me twenty-five pound for a martini. Uh. And then when I thought we were getting a little bit close, you know, mm. we were actually rifling my bum bag. <sighs> Okay. I've lost all my credit cards, my travel documents, <sighs> I've got my train ticket. Oh, okay. Sorry, can you spare me ten P, please? Ken, stop it. Yeah. No, you shouldn't be doing this. Why not? You really shouldn't. No, I've got no alternative, John. Well, look, come with me. No, no, I mustn't be seen with you, John. Don't be seen. You go. Leave me, John. Ken, come on. No, I'm doing all right. I've made about two pounds, you know. Look, this no. is no life for a man of your years, Ken. No. Oh, it's no less than you deserve. After your behaviour, really. I oh, know. I'm sorry, John. Are you taking me to the police station? Don't be daft, Ken. We're going to buy you a super saver. Oh, thank you. Oh, dear. I haven't got my checkbook, Ken. No. Oh, blimey. Oh. No, because I thought Jeff was treating us. Yes. Said. What are we going to do, John? What are we going to do? I don't know. Wait a minute. Have you seen the old man at the quarter past eleven? Thank you. See, oh, I forgot the words. Come on, John. It's no more. John, come on. Let me take you by the hand and lead me through the... St- oh, John, I was doing better on my own. Yes, I'm sorry. Why don't you sing one of your own songs? Oh, I don't know, Ken. Yeah, come on, sing um, Up and Down Like a Bride's Night. Eh? I'm not singing that one, Ken, it's blue. It's not, it's a fun track. Oh. Now, come on. I'm up and down like a bride's nighty. Can. Up and down and I don't know why you... Oh, thank you very much. I'm happy and then I'm blue. Thank you. Oh, I'm up and down like a bride's nighty. Up and down and I don't know why you... There you go, mate. Thank you. I'm happy and then I'm blue. So blue. That's right. So blue. I don't know. Why I feel so high Then suddenly go So low I don't know what to do To stop my moods From swinging from ecstatic To sinking and back Oh, thank you, love. Cheers I'm up and down like a bride's nighty Come on Up and down and I don't know why you Maybe it has happened to you it probably has, at some stage. Cheers, mate. Oh, cheers, look at that. Oh. Must have made a tenner at least. Yes. Excuse me. Yes. I listen to that with interest. And who might you be? My name's Tony Hatch. Oh. Here's my card. Oh. Perhaps when you're next in town, you could give me a bell. We could do lunch, possibly yes. discuss a recording deal. Yes. Love to. Wait, Tony? Yes? Don't you recognise me? Um... It's Ken. Ken Worthington. You know, TV's clarinet man. I was on New Faces in 73. I came last. Don't you remember? You crucified me. That's right, you did. Because mm. I watched that particular edition. Mm. And you were very hard on Ken. Mm. But justifiably. I was terrible. Yes, you were. Mm. You must remember, Tony. Um, yes, I think I do. I'm sorry about that. Mm. Uh, yes. It doesn't matter, Tony. I forgave you a long time ago. Though for a while you were furious, weren't you, Ken? Well, of course I was, yes. Yes. Well, I'd better dash. I'm taking Jackie to see the piano tonight. Oh, oh. I'd have thought she'd have seen it already. The film, Ken. It means the film. Oh, I see. Yes. Cheerio, then. Yep. Yes. Bye, Tony. Bye. Uh, Mr. Hatch, thank you very much. Cheers, Tom. I'll give you a tinkle. Yes. Cheerio, then. Oh, that was Tony Hatch, Ken. Mm. He didn't give us any money, though. Didn't he? No, he didn't. Oh. Quick, John, there's another train coming. Ooh. My wife died in 1970. My, My wife died in 1970, peacefully in her sleep. Though she's just a distant memory, occasional tears I weep. Shuttleworths was written and performed by Graham Fellows and produced by Paul Schlesinger.